Hey everybody, it is Michelle Skocek and it's Tuesday in the silver bullet here. So it is time to talk about exposure. You guys ready? So I figured out that there's no way for me to see comments while this is going on. I don't know if it's a Facebook update or what, but I will respond to comments afterwards. And I'm also going to edit my post to add some of the links of things that I'm going to talk about. So I hope this is super helpful for you today. Um, as you know, there are nine of us in this that are providing content to you and everything. So what we've done is we've divvied up the five different topics throughout the three months. And so as it turns out, this is going to be the last time I can talk about exposure to you guys. So I'm just going to fire hose you guys with everything that I would ever want to talk to you about exposure. Okay, is that a deal? So it's going to be a little disjointed. I'm not sure I like my hair. Um, it's going to be a little disjointed, but I just have to tell you everything I wanted to tell you about exposure. Okay, um, all my little exposure hacks and things that I'm working on personally. Y'all, I don't have this down at all. I am taking notes as fast as you are. Um, I think this is a journey that we're all on at different points and not even rank or anything like that, but life experience and everything. So I soak it up from everybody that I can and rank does not determine like where you are at in this. So like we don't make any presumptions about that whatsoever. So I hope that you can glean something from, uh, from what I say today and let's do this. Okay. You ready? Okay, so the first thing I want to uh, talk a little bit about is the number one reason why people don't really stick with network marketing, they don't stick with Young Living, they don't want to do network marketing when you say like, oh, what is that uh, income opportunity? Oh, network marketing, I don't have anything to do with that because I don't want to sell to my friends. And have you ever, like, when you've gotten into this, all of a sudden you feel like, you're selling somebody something and you don't want to approach something, you get that apologetic kind of a tone, um, kind of even a body stance, like you're already apologizing. You're not just like, hey, let's go for this. Let me just show you what I've got. And you're not super confident. That's because that belief that you have back in the back of your head. I know I've been there, like I've even been there recently and I have to revisit it all the time, you guys is our actual belief. What are we doing here? That's why every time I'm on my way to a class, I'm on my way to meet somebody, I'm just going out in public where I know I might talk to somebody, I get in my own head about why I do this. Because if I, if my heart isn't in it, it's it falls flat. People feel your energy. They feel your authenticity. And so that's the first point I wanna make. As soon as you feel yourself getting salesy, with your approach or desperate. I mean, we all want it. We all want this bad, right? But if your approach and your feeling is desperation, it's great to be motivated. But if your approach is desperation, people are going to feel that. But if your approach and the things that you're thinking in the back of your mind and your heart belief is this is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. And I hope that you can see it too. That is the energy that you're gonna get give off. No matter what kind of stranger you meet, you don't even have to be talking about oils to people. So one Friday night, I went out with an oily friend who's probably on this right now. We had such a good time, but we were in such a great mode where I friended so many people that night. I friended the lady sitting next to me, I friended this downtown Dallas lady and now we're like we have these like chats online have not discussed oils whatsoever but it was an easy connection to make because I was genuinely interested in these people okay and I must have been giving off an air of confidence and not just cocky confidence or anything but genuine curiosity where those people would actually want to friend me on Facebook. Otherwise, they would have lost me a long time ago and they wouldn't be commenting on things that I'm posting nowadays. So I think that that all had to do with the way I was presenting myself. Okay, so 
um, the way to prevent that whole feeling of being salesy to my friends and family is authenticity. Like you genuinely just have to believe in what you're doing regardless of whether or not they are ever going to catch the vision. Okay. You have to put the result away. Okay. Um, and I'll, and just like I said, just be genuinely concerned about other people. So do you have a genuine curiosity about other people? That to me, I feel like has been my greatest strength. Um, any of you who've known me know that in my past life I was an attorney. I did business in real estate. And it was funny because when I would have people come in my office and talk to me about their like lease contract for their business, I would spend a half an hour just asking them about their business and just like, how does that work? And what do you do for this? And how do you market that? And what is your mark? You know, and I was just genuinely curious. Now, granted, I'm curious about business. I'm at heart. I'm an entrepreneur, but I'm just curious about people. And I ask question after question after question. Can you do that with people? Like, can you do that outside of oils? Like put oils aside all together. If you have a genuine love and curiosity for human beings, I believe you can always do well in this business. So one of the people that I absolutely love who teaches this, and I'm just going to post a link to this, it, and I'm not going to try to explain the whole thing because I've been watching this video for uh, months, if not if not years. And every time I go back and watch this video, I get it at another level. I get another, um, another deeper meaning, maybe a meaning that I was ready to hear at that moment, but it's Richard Blissbrook and it's called curiosity based prospecting. It also gives us a great way to answer the question of, and that's how it came up for me, um, of when somebody asks you what you do for a living, he tells you what he says, okay? And it's just an amazing shift, okay? If you don't know or not very familiar with Richard Blissbrook, please become familiar with him for so many reasons. He has, um, he has been a part of network marketing for, I believe, 40 years, okay? So he has seen everything. In the mid, he's also even started his own MLM company. And after all of that, what did he do? He went and joined Young Living. Okay, so number one, that says a huge thing about Young Living. Number two, he is such a quintessential pro, okay? And he is raising the bar of network marketing. If you wanna follow somebody who does it really well, who keeps the authenticity and the salesy, creepy kind of network marketing stuff off, just that's not part of what we're doing, follow Richard Brook, okay? Find any of his teachings on YouTube, but this one is one of the quintessentials and I just love it, okay? So please, you know, please watch it and I will uh, amend this intro to the post and I'll put the link in there for it. The next thing I want to say is that um, we always hear, be a product of the product, but there is nothing like being on the business side of this that raises it to a different level. So <sighs> being a product of the product, there's no greater opportunity for doing this when you're running a business. Y'all, do you see yourself as business owners for one? You have to embrace that. You're a business owner, period. Own it. <laughs> That's a whole other video, right? But it takes a special focus, energy, and attitude, okay? Those are things that Young Living products are perfect for. So what I want to encourage you in that is if you're not using, like, okay, I can't hardly spend less than $300 a month on my products. And I'm not trying to tell you how to spend your money, especially if you're just starting this out. But let me say a quick word on that. Your, your paycheck 
is if, if you talk to any kind of business owner, ask them when they started actually drawing an income from their, from their business. Okay, sometimes it'll be years before they actually draw income. Actually a paycheck. I don't mean like somebody pays them. So just keep that in mind when you talk about your paycheck um, being yours. Okay, like you made $50 off of a, you know, an enrollment. Do you consider that yours to pay other bills? You might need to, and I'm certainly not judging you for that, but let me just give you another perspective. It's an investment. If you're spending that on product, I think that's a pretty wise investment. You can great, get greater physical energy, greater focus, greater emotional support in order to run your business because those are quintessential things that we desperately need as business owners to work this through the day. If you have another job and you're doing Young Living on the side, which probably 98% of us are, I mean, let's face it, we're all doing something on the side and in many ways we shouldn't be spending more than 40 hours a week. Lots of things that say you spend any more than 40 hours a week and your time is actually less, um, less energy is actually, less focus and energy is actually applied to actually getting things done. You lose your productivity after 35 to 40 hours anyway, but that's another post altogether. Um, but we need that kind of thing that Young Living provides. So here's my challenge to you, the new 2017 uh, product guide. I've seen some really awesome posts about putting it in a, like having it bound. I am so doing that. But here's the other thing. Turn that thing into a checklist. If you are not absolutely using all the products, now I know that there are some for men and some for women and all that. So all of those things aside, if you're not making some use and being familiar with most of those products, don't just cast off the supplements. Don't just cast off certain things. Try them all because knowing them and using them and actually implementing them in your life is a way for you to be able to relate to other people and know that other people are um, figuring out what other people's needs are because you've actually uh, been participating in the product, okay, in order to be able to tell other people, okay. So it definitely just puts you in a different frame of mind. Okay, so then number three, um, and then we can wrap this up, is a neat little tip that I heard from um, a very precious star member on my team who just recently dropped a bomb on us. I mean, maybe y'all have already done this or whatever, but I was like, and I was even looking at my purse last night and I was like, bang. She is, I have definitely got to do what Jennifer said. And that is, in her little oil kit, and darn it, I meant to, you know, the little 10 thing of oil that you can generally shove about 15 oils into. You know what she carries in it? Just the PSK oils. How genius is that? What better way to demonstrate to anybody that you encounter that you can do anything with your PSK oils, okay? And you just would bring those out and just, yep, and this comes in the kit, and this comes in the kit, and this comes in the kit. I mean, how genius is that? So just as a principle of the matter, we could carry our PSK oils and nothing else. Um, so I hope that is super helpful. Oh, one other thing. In my car, I do carry, I have carried a kit but I don't need to carry a kit if I actually have it in my purse. But I carry a kit to display to people and I carry a flip kit and I put it in this nifty little black box that I put in the back. Now it's cooler temperatures so I don't have to put it in a cooler but in the summer here in Texas I was putting it in a cooler and carrying it around in my car because you never know, you know, you go to get your hair done and your hairdresser wants her kit now and so you give it to her and that just happened. So. I hope this is very helpful for you. I will post the Richard Brooke video and it's about a half an hour and worth every minute. Save it as a favorite and go back to it 
like every other month. It's totally a favorite of mine. Um, so hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday. Alrighty, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.